Chuck from Alaskan Ballistics. Today we are shooting the 147 grain SIG V Crown jacketed hollow points. And we have a Glock 19, HK VP9, Glock 43. I have three rounds in each. We will be shooting it over the chronograph. And we have a Smith & Wesson MMP 2.0. On the box, they are supposed to get 985 for 317 foot pounds of energy. Traditionally, this has gotten higher. Didn't in 10 millimeter, might have been just a different powder in the 10 millimeter that day. It has in 45, 200 grain. It has in 124 grain so far, and all the guns I have tested it in. All right, here we go Glock 43. Over the chronograph, here we go. Got an error. 945. 971. So not too bad. Look at that slippage right there. It's really icy out here. Water at the bottom of the ice. My feet are soaked. Let me put one more in this Glock 43. Nine seventy one. Very good. Here we go. HK VP nine SK. Nine fifty six. Error. Thousand and six. Put one more in that one. Just so we get a good three shot average from each one. Like Chuck, quit pulling your shots to get an error. Nine forty six. Glock nineteen. Ten forty five. Ten twelve. And ten thirty seven. Not bad. Not bad at all, Chook. Thanks for letting us borrow your guns, Chook. Chook's here from Chook's Outdoor Adventures. Make sure you subscribe to his channel. And Smith & Wesson 2.0, five inch barrel. And I didn't get a read. 1051. 10.07. Not really that much of a difference. One more round, because I didn't get a read. And I'll have five rounds of this left. 147 grain, Sig V crowd. Still didn't get a read, an error. Huh. Yep. Might be getting too little bit of light for the chronograph left here. Another error. It's been the West and full of errors. Ten twenty four. So, did get more than what the box said. That's pretty good in the longer barrels. Thanks for watching. We might do a penetration test on another day. The SIG V Crown 147 grain four guns test. Out of the Glock 43, we had an average muzzle velocity of 956.166 feet per second and 298.49 foot pounds. The HK VP9 SK 969.33 feet per second. 306.77 foot-pounds. The Glock 19, 1,031.333 feet per second, 347.27 foot-pounds. And the Smith & Wesson 5-inch 2.0, 1,027.33 feet per second, 344.58 foot-pounds. Thinking this ammo wasn't very consistent. The temperature was about 45 degrees Fahrenheit this night and we were at about 800 feet of elevation. This week's shout out goes to Delta Force Reviews. Delta Force Reviews, go check him out. Good reviews. He even likes the 20 grain 17 HMR stuff. Good stuff. We are Smith & Wesson 2.0, 9mm, 147 grain, SIG V Crown. Here we go.
Hit it just slightly low of center. Looks like it went into the first water jug. Hit it just slightly low of center. Looks like it went into the first water jug. Here we go. Let's put the can a little better than the Hornady Critical Duty did. There you go, you can at least unfold the cantaloupe. That's pretty good. Right there, I think I see a bullet in the first jug in the bottom, right there. Yep, let's get it out for you guys. And here is that 147 grain SIG V Crown out of the Smith & Wesson 2.0. Beautiful bullet. Did exactly what it was supposed to. You saw the chronograph earlier. I do not have Chooks HK VP9 SK with me today or his Glock 19, so we're just going to be doing it out of the Glock 43 and the Smith & Wesson 2.0. Definitely a beautiful, beautiful bullet. Look at that. Here we go, Glock 43, SIG 147 grain, jacketed hollow point, V-crown ammo, cantaloupe, four water jugs, standard, non-scientific, just for fun test. Here we go. Alright, looks like I hit it just bottom of center again. Went into the first water jug, I can see the bullet from here. Alright, looks like I hit it just bottom of center again. Went into the first water jug, I can see the bullet from here. So you guys can see how it ripped the cantaloupe there, hit it just right about in here, took out the bottom half, and let's see what that bullet looks like in there. Might have scratched the table a little bit, I don't think so, but we'll see. Let me get it out of that first water jug for, for y'all. I keep saying you guys in these videos, it should be y'all from the south originally. Here's the 147 grain SIG V Crown out of the Glock 43. See right there, it's got to contain most of its base held together in that little test. Beautiful, beautiful little bullet. There we go. Just to compare the Glock 43 and the Smith & Wesson 2.0, you see they actually relatively expanded right about the same. Not too bad. 2.0 is on the right here. The Glock 43 is on the left. Maybe just a hair more expansion. Not bad though, not bad, good ammo for either gun. Thank you for watching Alaskan Ballistics. Hashtag Justin's Final Mission, save CMAX. It's all about Jack and Guard Every School. Make sure you look those up. Guard Every School's on my Facebook page and we're gonna be doing a video about that soon. So make sure you go check it out.